resource packs slash texture packs they're the exact same thing and you want to know how to get them in minecraft bedrock edition in 2023 well that's exactly what we're going to show you how to do in this video i'm going to show you how to download them how to install them and then how to activate them in game now first things first we will need to download some texture packs slash resource packs i'm going to use those terms interchangeably in this video now in the description we do have this list of the top five bedrock edition resource packs and guess what we're going to be downloading a few of these specifically john smith legacy right click and open there and the pixel right click and open there now it is important that we download the bedrock edition of these packs because both of them do have a java edition as well so as you can see here minecraft bedrock edition so we want to come into this and click the a yellow download button here and then it all begins automatically in the bottom left now if you're on any sort of device that's not a computer you want to just go ahead and click on that so if you're on an android device and it kind of shows the download happening you can access your downloads just go ahead and click on that file that's downloaded because when you do it's going to open up minecraft and automatically install the same thing goes for ios except you might need to navigate to your files app and click on it in your files app now for this video we're going to be using bedrock on a windows computer but the general purpose does still work on other devices so keep that in mind to pixel if you click download here it's going to give you the java version we want to get it for bedrock and we specifically want to get the bedrock light version because that's the free one downloads on the left hand or the bottom left of google chrome you may need to keep or save these files but usually they just download automatically now what we need to do is find the files we downloaded they're in our downloads folder so let's go ahead and open up the start menu and then we want to search for file explorer Open up the file explorer here, and then on the left hand sidebar, you want to scroll down and click this PC. Finally, you want to go ahead and open up your downloads folder, and here are both of the resource packs we downloaded. We can move them to the desktop for ease of use. Now, all you need to do to install these is, like I said, double click on them. And when you do that, it's going to open up Minecraft and start installing. It's that simple to add texture packs to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you're on iOS, you want to go to the Files app and click on it in the Files app. It's going to be in your Downloads folder in the Files app. If you're on Android, usually you can click on it directly from the browser and it works. If not, you may need to download a file browsing app. Unfortunately, I have no Android devices and have no recommendations for that. But do you see that? It came up at the top. It says successfully installed. We can now go ahead and double click on John Smith Legacy and it will start importing that as well. While it's doing that, have a notice for our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, start your very own Bedrock Minecraft server for you and your friends quickly and easily we love Apex so much we host every minecraft server we have on apex minecraft hosting so go check them out the first link down below the breakdown that xyz slash apex now while we were in that little sponsor read john smith legacy did install if we go into settings and then we go into on the left hand side global resources and then click on my packs we'll be able to see john smith legacy and to pixel let's go ahead and activate john smith legacy first by clicking activate there and then we can go and play whoa boom there we go it immediately activates and is reloading and we can click play i'm going to create a new world here just because i want to there's no real other reason than that we'll just do resource packs 2023 do keep in mind that you can choose resource packs in the left hand side over here as well and add them to this world but i see no reason to do that considering that uh, the one that we are installed from the main menu will be active once we get in game so let's go ahead let this reload we'll meet you in game to show you john smith's active then we'll switch over to the pixel so you had to change your resource pack and then we're done so here we are in minecraft and we can see john smith legacy is in fact active wow i love this pack this is by far one of my favorite medieval resource packs now if we go ahead and hit escape i would love if you could change this right in game but if you go to global resources it uh, doesn't let you it doesn't let you deactivate John Smith Legacy from in-game. You can't do it. What you have to do is actually go back to the main menu, and then from the main menu, you can deactivate it by going to that settings option, and then coming down here to global resources, clicking on active this time, selecting John Smith Legacy, and clicking it deactivate. Then we'll go ahead and activate the pixel by clicking on my packs, clicking on the pixel, and then clicking activate. Now we go ahead and close out of this. It's going to reload and the pixel will be live. As you can see, it's a bit different from John Smith Legacy or a lot different from John Smith Legacy and a bit different from Vanilla Minecraft. Specifically, those uh, fonts are a lot different. And now we'll join in game and we'll see that in fact, the pixel is now installed instead of John Smith Legacy. 
be it, I have nothing against the Pixel. I like John Smith Legacy a lot more. But that's how you can add resource packs to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It is super simple and super easy. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorials. For example, there's one on your screen right now. It might be how to make a server. It might be how to do other things in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. YouTube is just recommended whatever it thinks you like, so check that out. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.